Good evening, everybody. Welcome to tonight's stream. I'm afraid that we're going to put Frostpunk on a little bit of a hiatus here, as uh, I have fallen quite hard down the rabbit hole that is Pal World. Affectionately known as uh, kind of an interesting mix of Ark and Pokemon and Breath of the Wild. Like, it's got a good smattering of games, but it's been a lot of fun so far. So, as usual, to start this off, I have popped that extra life command in the stream chat, and here we go. We are Frag Force, a charity gaming team here on Twitch and elsewhere, playing games and helping kids. In North America, we primarily raise for Extra Life, a children's miracle network program that gets gamers like us to uh, play games like this in order to raise funds for a local or not so local children's hospital. I, Morinder, am raising for the uh, Ann and Robert H. Lurie Children's Hospital here in Chicago. Uh, every Children's Miracle Network Hospital is not only teaching or is not only a teaching and research hospital. Um, no, I uh, messed that up. <laughs> every Children's Miracle Network Hospital is both a teaching and research hospital. They are not only teaching the next generation of doctors to give the care they're known for, but they are also researching new and better ways to give care at the same time. So every dollar counts. It's a very good cause. On that note. For those of you uh, under a rock or something similar, Pal World is the new hotness. Um, so we're going to go ahead and jump right in here. I know you can't see my screen just yet. That's because I'm hopping onto the server, and unfortunately, it does not like to preserve the port. So I have to put it in manually, and I don't think my dear, dear buddy who hosts the server would be particularly thrilled if I was to broadcast that to the world. So, now that that is in, I'll go ahead and uncover that. Now, this server um, is hosted by somebody other than uh, the guy who hosts the Minecraft server, but still kind of the same group, the same Frag Force community. Um, but yeah, uh, I went with a very interesting look for my character here. I went with kind of a... Uh, I don't know, moody frost titan who's been shrunk down to size. So I found this abandoned mine shaft right before I logged out, because uh, I have played a few hours of this so far. Just a few. Um, okay, that is nice and dark. How about we go ahead and put out the wrong Pokemon? Yep. I mean, pal. The wrong pal. Been joking with the folks I've been playing with for so long about it, I should probably say the right word since it is in fact not a Pokemon. But yeah. Found this abandoned mine shaft. I have no idea if this is even worth exploring. Oh, it's got the black marketeer. They kept saying stuff about this guy. Let's see if he has anything for sale that I would be interested in. Ah lovely looking fella. So, they trade in any kind of pal, whether it's stolen or prohibited. Yeah, you can do slavery and all sorts of stuff in this game, technically. It's, um, interesting. I do not, in any way, shape, or form, have this much. For, oh, actually, I'm kind of close to getting a Toko Toko, but I've caught one of those. Uh, King Paka. Yeah, no, I've got, I've got nothing. So let's go ahead. I think that is indeed. Yeah, that's the only stuff down here. Those are very tiny guillotines. I don't know if I want to know what goes in those. Let's get out of here now. We, as I noted, we play on a uh, private server hosted by one of the Frag Force folks. Um, so we don't have to worry about anything too horrendous like griefing and the like. Uh, what's my inventory look like? Oh, it's plenty. Plenty of Let's get some aloe while we're here. Or, or. Um, but due to the limitations in the game, we are all 
in our own guilds. Um, so we're not, you know, building one super mega base, uh, and all pitching into it. Although, you know, if somebody asks for help, we will help. Um, ran out of stamina. Okay, so making sure all my points were assigned. Um, yeah, because uh, if you are all in the same guild, you can only have one guild base. Uh, which means only one pal uh, or po uh, pal box, pal thing that I can't remember the name of, what have you. So, yeah. Um, King Pekka is definitely too high level for me. We were going to try that shortly before I signed out, unfortunately. Some of the NPC villains, the Syndicate, showed up and drove it off. So, we missed out. Um, gonna get out my Nightwing here. Because I can fly on the Nightwing. And that will let me get up to the fast travel point up here. Because I'm going to see if King Pen is up. Because that, I think I can do on my own. Uh, is it over there? Yes. Over there. Basically, King Pen is kind of a giant version of one of the... Oh, hey. Speaking of syndicate thugs, there are some right there. Yeah. Oh, you know what helps? If you're going to shoot a bow and arrow at somebody, having the bow and arrow. Okay. And I also have a bat. <laughs> Not much use, but I have it. Yeah, see, listen to those chimes. Ain't that, ain't that breath of the wild? It really is. So, let's go over here to King Pen and see if it's even up, because it's a boss fight, or like a mini boss fight of sorts with an hour cooldown. So, if somebody's done it recently, which, you know, there's about four or five people on the server last I checked. I'll even go check again. Yeah, yeah, probably about four other people besides myself on the server. No, it is up. All right, so gonna have my fire Pokemon, and we'll see how this goes. I might die. I don't know if I actually can solo this. I just know I'm going to try. Or oh yeah, <laughs> try to say or it's not up. Of course, the game might lag, and I can't dodge in time. Thankfully, this is a rather forgiving game when it comes to uh, death. And uh, you do not lose, like, levels or stuff like that. Like, you take a durability hit for whatever... I have two technology points. Is that enough for the gate that I'm missing here? It is. Yeah, I, hmm, I wonder if I have to restart my computer, honestly, because this is being a bit more laggy than I would have expected. Yeah, well, I probably wouldn't have been able to do that um, with it focusing me. Probably at least something that got to be two people. Oh, well, that's worth a try. Let's get our stuff and then pop back to home base, and I'll give you a tour around show you exactly how the game works give you an idea if it's something you're interested in on what it's like so I uh, am level 16 and I recently just finished the kind of tutorial mission stuff uh, there would have been in that upper right hand corner where our donation goal is a list of things to do 
Um, but the last one was beat the boss of the Rain Syndicate Tower. Uh, and we did that. It's kind of like a Pokemon gym. So, here we are. Let's see how my stuff is doing. Got a decent amount of rocks. Not a somewhat decent amount of wood. Okay, so... Aren't they supposed to move this? Alright, now that I can't move... Ugh, I, I literally can't... I'm t just not close enough to the, uh, to the chest. Okay, so I have 1,600 pounds of wood. Alright, now that I'm closer to it, pick up the wood and move it into this chest. Goodness gracious. Uh, I've got a few rocks. We'll put them there. And it's the same. They're, why are they not... Oh, I knew that was going to happen. Why didn't I stay closer to the chest. Well, they're supposed to, they're supposed to move these from where they're being harvested to where they can be stored. Hello, Parker. Uh, I might join into the chat here in like, I don't know, five minutes after I've kind of shown off my base and stuff. Um, but among other things, I did want to check with, you know, you guys to make sure you were all okay with me streaming while in the voice chat, and I hadn't done that yet, so. But yeah, I'm sure I'll probably hop into voice at some point. Alright, so, the way this works is, you know, you obviously like Pokemon, you can catch creatures uh, and fight with them. It's a little less defined than Pokemon is, you don't have the one-on-one -on -one battles and like, you know, one one Pokemon versus one Pokemon, and you are part of the fighting, as you saw in the King Pen uh, bit just there. Um, gonna make another 50 of these. Um, but they're also used for a lot more. You can fly with them, you can use them as a you know, living torch, you can put them to work. Every level of your base lets you have another pal out in the world doing stuff. So I've got you know, these essentially grass-type pals who do farming, uh, water-type pal, water and ice in this instance, who waters things, and watering can be for plants, or watering can be for pushing the wheel of this crusher to get me palladium, uh, paldium fragments. Fire Pokemon, er, <laughs> fire pal, you know, do things like smelt the iron and cook my food, um... These cat Pokemon are the ones that kind of run around moving stuff and, you know, mining things. Over here on the ranch, I could have chicken, um, I keep saying Pokemon, don't I? I could have chicken pals and sheep pals. I could get wool and eggs, and I did get a lot of wool and a lot of eggs. Uh, Parker can attest to just how much you can get. Um, I can even oversee it all myself. It's hilarious. Look at this. Normal, hard-working, demand cruel work from the pals, and it uh, increases work and movement speed, but also increases their hunger, depletion, and sanity depletion, because, yeah, your tiny little, you know, monster friends have sanity levels. And then you can demand brutal work from them, which is, you know, even more work for even higher depletion, so... But, I mean, this is all ways in which you get materials for doing building and such. So, you know, iron ingots, crystal rocks, basically, wood, stone, all the things that you need in, you know, your fantasy survival game. Um, of course, this is my guild hall, or my house. You have to have a bed for every pal that you have out in your base. Uh, I've got a table. I've got this cooler box for my extra food. Which actually, I'm kind of out of food at the moment, um, and my cooler box is empty. Huh. I put a lot of food in here before I went offline. I wonder if the cooler box actually works. Hmm. It says required 
cooling. I wonder if I need to assign an ice Pokemon to it to make it work. Let's see here. Uh, so the beautiful thing is you can, oops, you can pick up, come on. Uh, it keeps trying to interact with the plot itself and water. Help. There we go. You can pick up your pals to take them to where you want them to work. Because apparently we're freakishly strong. Um, so if I put this guy next to the cooler, it says no available work. But then again, there's nothing in there. I don't know. I'll have to look into that. But this is also, you know, still in alpha early access, etc. So maybe the cooler's just broken. Um, but uh, you level up. Like, I mean, this this should look very familiar for those who play Ark. You know, like the screen here. It's not exactly, but very familiar. Um, level up your HP, your stamina, your attack, your defense, your work speed, and your weight. Uh, I have increased weight by a fair bit. And one of my pals increases it by 50. Very nice. Uh, my stamina is increased. Um, I have a passive buff to my attack, which I don't know what that's from. Um, defense is enhanced by my equipment, which my pelt armor actually needs repaired, as does my bow. Um, this is your pal party. Right now I've got, you know, fire, kind of a universal helper, um, a... I'm sorry, what? Depresso, who has caffeine inoculation. When activated, Depresso drinks a massive amount of energy drinks, causing its movement speed to increase. Wow. Okay. Uh, Pangullet, who's basically Piplup, uh, for those who know, and Nightwing, the flyer. The Piplup being water and ice. So, you know, got a lot of stuff. I'm going to go over here to the feeding thing, and I'm going to take out this stack of cooked berries. And this stack of cooked berries. And I'm going to make... 687 more. And then I'm going to take, like... Um, there, 11 pounds. I'll take 11 pounds of berries for myself. Because uh, I unlocked a little bag that unlocks a food slot, which automatically feeds me and my pals. Uh, so there's uh, also technology to unlock. Um, every level unlocks new stuff. As you can I've unlocked all the basic things, you know, like basic tools, basic structures, making pal spheres, uh, you know, equivalent to the Pokeball. And, you know, I've got a lot of stuff, but there's still a few things I haven't unlocked. Um, and as, you know, it goes higher, it gets more expensive. So I actually just unlocked wooden gates um, with my last few points. Next is probably going to be maybe the Mega Shield. Uh, and a cooking pot. Cooking pot? Are you telling me I need to level up before I can finish this? Build cooking pot. Yep. To get my base to level 11, I need to build a thing that I can't actually build yet. Awesome. Okay. Um... I need to kill another boss, like a world boss, uh, overworld boss to get more of those. Um, could do the end game invader though. You know what? Let's build the egg incubator. Let's see exactly what this does. Well, uh, I don't want it inside. Pals have a hard time working inside. So, we'll put it yeah, here's a nice open spot. Right here. And then most of the stuff does need build. You can see all of these are coming over to help me build it. Um, not every pal can do everything, but some pals can do a lot of things. So some of them can help with stuff like this. So we can set an egg, and I don't have any in my inventory. But I do have some over here. So I have a common egg, and I have a damp egg, which is also common. That might be it, actually. So I want to do the damp egg. No, we'll do the common egg. 
probably get used to it. Figure it out. You can actually see those little pluses on the left there. Uh, as the pals do work, we are passively earning a tiny amount of XP. Actually, you know, when AFK wants it logged up, um, uh, logged up, leveled up, just by being uh, in my bed. Mm. So the egg says it seems a little cold. So if we put this guy here, fixed assignment to egg incubator failed. Hmm. Yep. So. Nope. Both of those things do not work. Okay, so the next thing I want to try is putting a campfire next to it. And if this doesn't work, I mean, I, it's fine. Alright, there we go. Seems very comfortable. Incubation speed 100%. Cool. So I think sometimes I will have to assign the Pokemon to it itself, but in this instance, not so much. Um... Not hatching on stream tonight, though, because I'm not doing another three-plus-hour stream. Uh, morning comes way too early, and it certainly did today. So the other thing that I can do here um, is to level up my base, I have to do the cooking pot, which I can't get yet, and I have to do a wheat plantation, which I needed seeds for, and now I have those seeds. So... Wheat plantation can go right here, kind of following the line of my berries. And everybody's coming over to help with it. Uh, but I am way faster than everybody else. Or everybody else just got over here finally, one of the two. <laughs> so we'll get that built. And there we go. And so now suddenly we only have these two guys helping out because these two guys can do the farming so if we come over here I'll show you the pal box management and oh I don't have um I don't I have one of you guys out there let's start this by level and let's put out He's only good for that. Uh, let's put out this pengola. Let's have two pengolas out. Because uh, there's a few things that require water. So, alright. Um, so, we're planting. Alright, oh, I was showing you how it works. So, obviously, this is your party. and You can swap in and out. And this is the pals at the base, which, again, you can swap in and out. And then this is your, your computer, where they're stored. Um, when we look at these, you can see on the right there their stats and such. You can see their health, their sanity, their food levels, their attack and defense stats. But you can also see in the middle-ish line there a bunch of icons. This life monk or lift monk has the plant, the hand, the different plant, the leaves. So I guess the seed, the plant, the leaves, the uh, wood, and the medicine uh, icons. So they can plant, they can do stuff that requires like handwork, they can chop wood, and they can make medicine. I'm not sure about the difference between the seedling and the leaves. Maybe that's harvest. They can plant and they can harvest. I don't know. Uh, but the medicine one is that they can work at the medicine station inside the house and make medicine for me, which is very useful. Uh, so they all have beds, but they all like to just fall asleep out here. Um, so I'm going to do one more thing here at the base before I go pop into the chat. And that's I'm going to put up my gate. Um... But first, we're going to go into disassembly mode and break down all these because the gate is unfortunately bigger than them. So, if I want it to kind of fit, I need to do that. All right. 
Now we go back to the wooden defensive wall. And this isn't perfect, they don't snap. Um, and maybe there's a way to make them snap, but I don't know it. Um, I'm just roughly following the outline of my base, basically, domain. Uh, and the point of this is, there are creatures that will, or uh, not creatures, but there are um, people that will raid you. Uh, even in a private server where everybody's friends. Um, like earlier, I got raided by uh, the Syndicate. Like, seven of them, all higher level than me, came and raided me. It was not fun. Not gonna lie, not fun. So, I'm gonna open this for now. I'm gonna see if I can put torches on the outside, or if it's going to complain that they're out of my range. I'm assuming it probably will. Overlaps, and... I can just do it if I stand right here. And that's because it doesn't actually care about your territory for building stuff. It's just it cares about the territory insofar as access to your stored materials is. And now I'm going to build these torches. And, like, there's so much more to the game. And there's so much more... Oh, I just remember these torches need to be relit. <laughs> and the, the fire uh, pal won't have access to them, but oh well. There's so much more to the game than what I've shown. Like, this is a defense thing for when we get attacked. Probably gonna need to reposition it with how far that gate actually went over. But, yeah. It's neat. I like the game. And these are the little sheepies that I was talking about. They give mutton and wool. Alright. So, I'm going to go ahead real quick. I'm going to put the be right back. I'm going to mute. I'm going to go check and make sure that the people in the voice chat are okay with me uh, streaming their, you know, voices. And I'm going to go join them. So, I'll be right back. So, uh, apparently Parker dropped into the chat as everybody was leaving for the night. Because <laughs> there is nobody in the chat there. I feel a little silly. Oh well. We are going to put up some other torches here for lighting up the base during the night. not going to do a huge amount for us, but you know, it's not nothing. And I don't think there's anything else that I super need or want to build right at the moment. And we're not under attack or anything, so... The decision of what to do. Um, holy cow, have we really already been playing for half an hour? 
Well, I mean, I guess we haven't been playing for half an hour. There was the intro music and stuff, but the stream has already been going for half an hour. I, I don't even understand how that's possible. Alright. Um. Geez, we're really not going to do much else then, because that was most of what I wanted to do was kind of show everything off and then, uh, you know, go to bed not terribly long after. So our inventory has a bunch of stuff in it that we don't need right now. So we're going to ditch... this stuff. I just, I don't need it. Um, so that can all go. Alright. I've got food. Alright. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go see if I can get what I need for building the essence condenser, which I now need three parts. I think the thing I want to go kill only drops two. I may have kind of boogered myself there, but the, the egg incubator was better. Um, and to take a look, to get capture power the next level, I need seven. I have four. All right. So I'm keeping my eye out for effigies. Now, thankfully this game has a fast travel system, so where I want to go is right here. So I'll go to this fast travel. And then, yeah, I really need to restart my computer. Mm. We will call out the wrong Pokemon, because I always hit E first instead of three to, you know, change. Yep. And we'll get on. And we are pointed the exact opposite way of where I want to go. So, the Pokemon that I am looking to... Uh, catch is called Chillet. Oops, ran out of stamina. So, unfortunately, even the Pokemon have stamina, so we're going to use Nightwing here to get up top and then probably switch to our own feet. See? There it is. Chillet. It is ice and poison? Um, where is it? I'm not going insane, right? You guys saw the little blurb at the top of the screen that said, you know, I'm gonna do don't attack. It's a chill it and show that I'm confused. So we saw that right over here. <gasps> so you can see that has a capture right there. I, I had to weaken it, just like you do in that other game. And then I can capture it. It looks like every single one if you go up to 10 times capturing it, you get a bonus of some sort. Which is neat. Wait, is it over there? Aha! There it is. My bow is damaged. I am damaged. Right. Um, I'm going to actually let my pal attack. Yeah. 
And that was a mistake. Oh well. Oh, I did get the three things I wanted. I mean, technically we didn't come here to catch it. We came here to... Uh, get the agent parts. But it would have been nice to have caught it. Because I don't have one yet. And my game seems to be a little broken for some reason. still kind of sounds like I'm in a fight, which it shouldn't. Yeah, I don't know why I couldn't get my health to regen like it should have. But, uh, yeah, that was pretty predictable when I couldn't. I shouldn't have gone after that other pal. But I'm tired and I'm greedy. Ugh. And I was kind of hoping maybe dying would fix it, but no. Not even dying is fixing this. I don't know what's going on. Uh. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. Um, that it is just continually thinking I'm in a fight when I'm not. So our body is over there. But that's a lot harder to get to when you don't have a pal that you can fly on. So, that's why we're coming this way, which circles up around. Just need to make sure we don't annoy like him. Or her. I wasn't actually looking at the gender symbol. <laughs> and it could be either or. can't get the battle music to stop, I think I need to be done, because that's super annoying, and I'm not signing back in after I sign out, if that's what, is taking, uh, what it takes to fix it. I might try and catch some of the stuff around here to go towards the collection bonus, though. A fair few things. Anyway, so yeah, when you die, you not only drop your stuff, you drop your pals. I don't know if I specifically mentioned that earlier. And it's quite annoying. I need to remember that, you know, catching gives more experience than killing, and catching multiples of something does have a point. Uh, these things always run and run and run, I don't know if I'm gonna even bother trying to catch them. 
these things will turn. Get rid of that cat music. That might be caught. I could have heard it a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. You'll notice my armor and weapon are damaged, and I think that might be part of why I'm doing so poorly on attacking some of these. should be doing a little more damage than I am. Yeah. Oh, I definitely should have damaged that more. Although, I did... Yeah, I threw the Pokeball from behind and that gives a bonus to catching. So I got it. Honestly, kind of surprising that I got it. <gasps> was actually my 10th. I don't need more of those for the bonus. But, I mean, it's still a capture. Uh, and the battle, well, I mean, now I actually have been doing some fighting, so the battle music being back is quite so expected. Somebody else on the server is in a dungeon or something because it's really being laggy in a way that it's usually only when somebody's in a dungeon. Which, I mean, you know, all the more power to them. This will be two more? Or was it two more? And this will be one more. No, two more. Okay. So I got one over here. 17 lets us finish the current base expansion, and that's probably where I'll call it for the night. But I'd like to get my 10th one of those. I definitely could be catching these with less arrows, potentially. <laughs> uh, you'll notice sometimes I fire a lot faster than it should take for full arrow pullback, and that's because that does less damage. Because um, I'm hoping to not, you know, knock them out before I can catch them. And I say knock them out, but it is, it is kill. They, they are kill. You kill them, they drop meat and stuff. <laughs> Perfect. Another 380 XP. 
Oh, uh, we're almost level 18. I mean, who didn't see this coming? I am the guy that stayed up until 2 a.m. trying to finish a game last night, after all. These guys are so resilient. Like, yeah, let me just take three arrows to the head over and over and over. Again, a lot like Breath of the Wild in the stuff that you can do. Oh, now see, this was a mistake. Because I'm now taking damage and I can't climb up. So, here's the thing about that. Um, I thought I'd be able to make it across, and I didn't. Okay, so that's not a big deal. Water in itself is not lethal. You don't touch water and die like so many other games. However, I also thought it would take a lot longer to die in the water, because while water is not inherently lethal, if you run out of stamina, then you start taking uh, damage, which, yeah, okay, that's fair. Um, should've just gotten up a darn bird. <laughs> oh no, it's all the way up there? Uh, uh. Oh, let's at least go to the other one. Ugh walk of shame. Anyways, I didn't realize that you took that damage so quickly. Now that's, that's on me. I should have thought that through. But, you know, I'd never run out of stamina in, uh, in water before. I just was aware that that was a thing that could happen and what would happen. Um, the other thing was I didn't pay attention to the water features. Um, more importantly, I didn't pay attention to the fact that if I didn't have stamina, and therefore couldn't climb, there's no way out. So, that's on me. I screwed up there. What the hell is this thing? Well, still too high a level for me, even at the best of times. Oh, it's... Ah! Okay, so, um, haven't really left the main starting area whole, a lot, so most of the stuff we encounter is still, uh, not friendly, but not, you know, hostile immediately. Clearly that wasn't. Um, so, hmm. Well, we can go 
go from this angle. I don't know if this is going to be any better. Alright. <sighs> All because I didn't feel like getting out bird and flying. Because, you know, compared to so many other games, the flying on that bird in this game is not great. I mean, this game does a lot, and for what it does, it does it pretty solidly, but it is pretty clunky and janky in certain ways, like a lot of these games are. Um, and you know, it is what it is. It, it gets the stuff it really needs to get right, right, and you have fun with it, but definitely has issues. I'm just gonna hop down, wasn't sure how far from falling damage I was, so that wasn't too bad, thankfully. Lesson learned, though, we're gonna get on the bloody bird and go home. All my crimps were. <laughs> yeah. Thankfully, the saddle for the bird doesn't break. Okay. So I was trying to do was get to this fast travel point, and I was just trying to be cheeky about it. Lesson learned, though. Be cheeky. Suffer the, you know, suffer the consequences. Why is my... Oh, there it is. I'm like, I keep trying to switch my baseball bat. It seems like I can't find it. It was there. Okay. So, we hit level 18. Awesome. Uh, 17 was what we needed to do. The stuff we wanted to do. Uh, we need to repair some stuff. Repair our pelt armor, our feather headband that keeps us from critical head hits, and our bow. Our very, very precious bow. Um, we've still got a fair number of pal spheres, but I should probably make some more pal spheres. Um, so let's get that queued up. I'm at the wrong table. Um, let's just make like 11, sure. And we really do need more arrows, because I went down to like 60, 80, I don't know. Could make a lot. We are not making that many. Um, but how about 180 or so? There. Now what we're going to do to get that going is we are going to switch over to our kitty. Yeah. Call them out and they are going to start making arrows for us. Um, eventually. So, we leveled up twice. Uh, we're going to enhance our stats some more. Um, I'd still like to get a bit more stamina. I want to get that to 200. And then we've got technology. Um, looking at what's new and what's needed. Um, I'm not going to unlock the Mega Glider just yet, but that's probably pretty useful. Um, I haven't needed to get specific cold or heat gear yet. The stone structure set is neat. Uh, I wonder if that's what I need for the cooler itself. I'm not going to mess with that just yet either. Um, the gloves for gently holding Tokotoko. Activates burnt skill to hold Tokotoko and use it to fire explosive eggs. Uh, Tokotoko is a bird that explodes, just so you're aware. So that's interesting. Oh, I have ancient technology points. Enough to get the mega grappling gun. That's cool. Um, cooking pot. Cooking pot we have to get to progress. 
Uh, the Pengullet's rocket launcher I want to get, but I'm not going to get right now. There's the alternate to the cooler, the heater, the poison crossbow. Um, oh, speaking of crossbows. I'll worry about that. I can make a crossbow now, and I forgot to do that, and I have the resources. Heard of violent wild... Oh, um... question is, do they, like, break down the door? I don't really want them to break down the door, so we're gonna... Ow, 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 ow. Really need to get some like spike traps and such. So everybody else that has talked about being invaded has said they've been like super easy, a couple of shots of arrows, and they take care of it. That was I mean maybe not hard, but I don't know about easy. I mean, maybe I should have left the door up, but then I imagine they probably would have just broken it. I don't know. Nobody got too injured, it looks like. Alright, I don't worry about it too much. Anyways, um, so we can make the cook pot now. I just have to figure out where it is in the mess of things. There it is. Um, I'll put it right over here. Sadly, with everybody else asleep for the night... Hold on. Am I the only person on the server? So it still thinks there's a herd of violent things invading the base, so I can't sleep. Alright. So we'll just do this. Oh! Now they've been defeated. Okay, let's take a look at sleeping. Nope. Kind of annoyed at this. I wonder if that's why the kitty isn't working, is because the game continuously is thinking I'm fighting, even though I'm not. Oh well, whatever it is. We're gonna finish this, we're gonna level up the base, and we're gonna call it a night. Which, you know, I played twice as long as I meant to, <laughs> so we got a solid hour stream. Um, we leveled up twice, we're now level 18. Um, I would not be surprised if a couple of the other guys are now level 20. They were 18 when I signed out a long while ago um, to do some stuff before stream. Um, but still, 18 is pretty respectable. Um, I showed you guys how easy it is to die when doing stupid things, which I did a fair number of. Um, I think I give you at least a decent understanding of the basic mechanics. Uh, and there we are. So you notice here I can have two bases. I can have 11 pals. Build a weapons workbench. Um, I still haven't even seen that to unlock, so... I don't know. Level 20? Let's see here. Breeding farm. Ooh. Cement. Uh, that'll be neat. Large toolbox. Nice. Antique chair. There it is. I was right. Level 20. Weapons workbench. Um, Alright. So definitely not a thing I can get to right now. Um, probably just another... You know what? I'm gonna put, I'm gonna get some eggs going again. I'm, I'm out of eggs. So let's get eggs cooking. All right, well that's it. 
Um, we're going to call it there. Thank y'all for stopping by. Um, it's late. I'm tired. Y'all have a good one. And I will see you tomorrow as we continue to stream every day of 2024. And uh, surprisingly enough, we really are. Toodles!